Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, I've just finished this fantastic mixed seafood curry or masala. I've got in there some shrimps, some squid, some clams. I've also got a little bit of cod in there as well. We've got some lovely delicate flavours going on there. Nice little bit of kick. It's pretty easy. It, I mean, it's delicious. If you love seafood and you like spicy food, you're going to love this. So simple. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get started here. I'll just run through some ingredients for you. Here what I've got is a, a mixed seafood. So I've got, a, I'm using a frozen one. You can get it in a packet frozen. Um, I've got some squid in there, shrimp and clams in there. There's no shells or anything in, in that. If you wanted, you could add some kind of clams with shells or something like that. This is all seafood meat. Here I'm using a bit of fish. I'm using some cod. But again, you, you can omit that if you want or maybe add some salmon or something like that. Fresh tomatoes, which is going to be the base of our sauce. Cut nice and small. I've got red onion today, which I'm using. You could use brown or white, it's up to you. Again, fairly small. Some fresh coriander or cilantro. Some fresh green chilli. Just in here, I've got some whole seeds for our whole garam masala. And today I'm just using equal parts of fennel seeds and cumin seeds. Here I've got two teaspoons of coriander powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of turmeric or haldi. Here I've got some fresh curry leaves, if you can get them fantastic, or if not, try and get some dried ones. Over here I've got some um, garlic ginger paste, finely chopped garlic and ginger, it's about two teaspoons there. We're going to maybe use a touch of water depending on how juicy our tomatoes are. Uh, we're going to start this off with a little bit of oil. Today I'm going to be using some sunflower oil. Coconut oil is really good though, if you can get that. And we'll add a bit of seasoning, touch of salt or something. Let's get moving over to the cooker. Okay, so I've got my little bit of oil in there, which we're heating up nicely. We'll start off by dropping in our whole garam masala. And like I say, today I'm using fennel seeds and cumin seeds, just let them infuse that oil, they'll pop and crackle and do their thing, just need to get this in for a few seconds, then we're going to add our onions, our garlic ginger paste, and our curry leaves. Like I say, if you can get fresh curry leaves, then they're fantastic. I mean, we're very lucky that we have lots of them where we live, but if not, you can maybe try and get some dried ones. So we're gonna give this a little stir. We're gonna cook this, we're on kind of a high heat. So let's cook this just for about two minutes, stirring all the time just to get some of those flavours happening. So at this point I'm going to add my powders, which is one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of chilli powder, and two teaspoons of coriander. Get these stirred in. Absolutely incredible, pungent smell coming from this. It is lovely already. I love this so much. Okay, so now let's go in with our seafood. Like I said, I'm using a frozen type of mix of seafood. There's some clams in there, shrimp, squid. And it's all sort of cut fairly small, it will cook quite nicely. Like I said, if you want to put some mussels in or shells in, 
you know, like some, some clams of shells, go ahead as well. I'm also going to add this cod that I've got. Optional, I mean I just like this kind of bit of fish in there as well. Nice chunky bit of cod. Salmon will work well or some other type of fish if you want it. Maybe a little bit of tilapia. So we've got this all stirred in. While I'm here, I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt. We can possibly add some more later. We're now going to pop a lid on this. And on a kind of medium type heat, we're going to cook that for about four to five minutes. Give it a stir every now and then when we'll come and take a look. Right, let's take a look now. A little bit of steam out here for you. That's looking absolutely wonderful. As you can see, a lot of liquids come out of that. And that's pretty much enough time for that seafood to start cooking nicely. Now we're going to add our tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. Just laying them on the top, not going to mix them in. Optional as to how many you put in, if at all, green chilies. Now what we're going to do is get the lid back on. Cook that for about another three to four minutes. Those tomatoes will, will steam nicely and that will create a, a nice sauce for us. So lid back on, about three or four minutes. See you then. Again, let's jump in and take a look. Some steam out there. It's just looking beautiful. As you can see, those tomatoes have softened so nicely. Now what we're going to do is mix this all in. Now I'm just going to turn the heat down to a simmer and with the lid off I'm going to cook this for about another four minutes or so. It's a little bit wet for me, I, I, it's too wet, I want it just to sort of reduce a bit so the lid being off a lot of the steam will evaporate and reduce it down a little bit, not too much, just a touch. So I'll be back in about four minutes, I suppose. Okay, there we go. That's cooked beautifully. Check that for salt. I know that's going to be fine for me. You might want to add a little bit more salt if you, if you like. And finally, off goes the heat. I'm now going to finish this off. We have a ton of cilantro or fresh coriander. Let's just stir that in. Now I am really super happy with this. This is an absolutely delicious seafood dish. It's nice and spicy, but got some lovely delicate flavors going on in there as well. I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please. And we'll see you soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye.